Canva is a fantastic platform to create all your designs. I use it personally for book cover designs, for thumbnails, even for course creation. So before we get into the tutorial, which I want to keep to 10 minutes, my name is Romney and I'm from The Life Graduate and thank you very much for watching this channel. Now I'm going to go through the tutorial for Canva and if you are interested in purchasing Canva and uh, trialing it, if you haven't already got a Canva account, you can check out the link below. So let's get into this 10 minute tutorial and I'll show as much as I can for those that are new to Canva or would like to learn some extra new tricks that you may not know about. Let's get into it now. So to start with, you can sign up to Canva. If you already have an account, go to login or use the link below in the description and go to sign up. Once you're into Canva, you can do a few different things. You can search content for Canva. So if you wanted to do a book cover, then you can do book cover and it will come up with a different book covers. You can, if you wanted to do a uh, Instagram post, you can do um, a portrait, you can do the square, you can search the templates that are available. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a design just from scratch and we can choose different ones here as well. Let's just go to, we might do a custom size. Let's do a 740 Actually, we'll do, a, we'll do a 500 by 500. This will be nice and easy. But you can design whatever you want to. So you've got templates that you can utilize as well. You can change the name. So let's just do this as a YouTube tutorial. So name it just at the top there. Then what we can do, we can go across and use any templates that we think could use the features that we wanted to. Or you can just do it from scratch. So we might find that, uh, let's have a look at one nice and quick. Let's just go to this one right here. So you can use these images if you want to. If you wanted to do elements, then this will give you the opportunity of choosing different elements that you might like to use. So if we were thinking about adding uh, another light globe, so we might do light globe. And then that will bring up all the different options here. Now you'll see the little crown. If you don't have a pro subscription, then you can't use these images here. If we did the filter, we can use either free or pro. So if you're just using the free version, it might be worth clicking the free. The pro version uh, is just here as well. And there's different pricing structures for that, um, but you can apply the filters if that's what you wanted to do. So if we were to use this one, which is the pro version, we can grab that and we can move it around. We can do different sizes. If we wanted to, bring this image and take it back behind the circle you can right click and send it to back and that will take it to the back for you if you wanted to add a background feature so if we go to elements again if we had office and we went to photos then you might like to add a background photo here so it might be this one here we've got the photo image right click and set image as background. So then you got the background image like that. If you had an image like this and you wanted to bring it forward a bit, bring it to life, you can go onto the image, go edit image, and you can do shadows. Now you can bring it page lift and see how it brings a shadow around that item for you. You can also go back and we might go edit image and we might choose to put a glow around it. Now with the glow, you click on the little filters here and you can change that. You might want to have this as a white color and then you can add the transparency. We might change that to, well, let's go to a yellow and we can change the transparency on that as well. And you can also change the size. So that might be something you might like to do. And then you click apply. Now, if we had another background picture, if we had, uh, let's just say, let's just have a look down here. If we had 
and we're looking for an individual picture, even this one here. So if we had this picture here and we wanted to get rid of the background, we go edit image and we can go remove background. This is only a game for pro subscribers. And you click on that and then this will remove any background and just leave you with the key features. And you can do an edit on that if you wanted to as well. You can see how that's just left the cup. You can expand them if you wanted to. You can restore. So if you click restore, you can bring a part of the desk back if you wanted to. So if I was just to do that and we go done, then you can see how that brings that back like that as well. Now, if you wanted to move the whole image, so if you didn't want to just move, if you wanted to move this whole image down a little bit, and you're thinking I've got to move each individual component down, what you do, you go up a little bit higher, click on your right button, and drag it across, and then you can drag the whole image around at the one time. You can even make it smaller or bigger too. So that's another feature that I didn't realize you could do for a little while. Now you can also add a page. So you might want to add another page. Let's go for this image right here. And we can either expand it to the side like this, or we can reduce it down like that. We can also set the image as the background if that's what we wanted to do. And we might want to add a title. So we go down to text and we can choose any of these if they were suitable to us. Or we can find something and use it ourselves. So we might have this one right here. And again, you can move this around. You can have it right there. If you wanted to center it, you can click it into position. If it was about here and you wanted to have it centered, you go to position and you can center it right like that. And we can lower it. We can make it bigger. The other thing is, see how it's currently grouped. We can ungroup it, which means that you can move them around and so therefore they suddenly ungroup but if you wanted to regroup them you can do that as well now if you wanted to change the kind of writing you do you can click here and you can choose different kinds of writing that you might like to use so it might be this one right here and you can stretch it and move it into place just like this and the other option you could do is also upload your own font as long as you have the rights to do it so you can upload your own font if you wanted to if we want to say do calligraphy then you can do a filter up the top here and you can change it around so we can highlight it go here calligraphy we can might want to choose this one right here and then that will change it we might want to change it to that one as well now if you wanted to do a different view if you had these two pages, you might have a third third page. So if we go elements and we might add this picture just here, let's set that as background. If you wanted to look at all of them together, you can do that and you can move them around as well. So you can drop them into different positions. You could delete it if you wanted to. You can duplicate them if you wanted to. You can add another page, delete the page. Then when you want to go back, click on the grid view and that will take you back as well. Now the other thing you can do are uploads. So let's go down to a spare page. We go add page. If you want to upload, you can just upload files if you wanted to, and you can record. That could be another way you can do presentations. So we're doing a, a just a blank um, document at the moment, but you can do recording. So you can do videos and audio. You can do the search for that. And if we had this, image right here we could have it like that we can center it see it clicks in the place you can also crop it and you can also animate it if you wanted to you can flip it so you can flip horizontally and flip back again and you've got all the different styles too so if we wanted a different background we could do the background and we could change that to a blue if we wanted to so what I'd recommend is going through and having a look at these. So you can do graphics, you can do all, right in the top there. Uploads, you can upload your own files. Text, you can choose the different types of text. You can do a search for a text, and you can also find your own text as well. You can also add different backgrounds. You can even add a QR code. That would be if you had uh, text, 
and you wanted to add a QR code, so you just put the URL in, and that would. So if we did uh, this, oops, lifegraduate.com, then we go create QR code, and then that QR code would stay straight to the website of my website. So you can do that as well. So that's just a few quick features that I wanted to show you in 10 minutes. There's quite a few things obviously you can do on Canva. Uh, you can also add different apps if you want to add those as well. So you can do um, marker pens. You can do marker pens. You can change those around. There are plenty of different options you can choose by adding logos. You can go down to more. And you can integrate different apps into that as well. You can add, for example, draw characters. You can even integrate it into Facebook or Instagram, whatever that might be for you. So I hope this tutorial, be it quick, has been beneficial for you. And I do hope that you get to use Canva however you want to, because it's a great platform, whether you use the free uh, version or the paid subscription, which I'm on the pro plan. It just gives you so many more beneficial features and uh, the functionality is fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Remember, if you are interested in purchasing Canva, then just check out the link below and you can participate in the free trial. Until my next video, thank you and I'll see you then.